Adaptations. Adaptations are special characteristics that help plants and animals to survive in a specific environment. If there are any changes in the environment, then it's important that the plants and animals adapt to these changes. This is because it will improve their chances of surviving and reproducing. Generally, organisms are well adapted to biotic and abiotic conditions of the environment. Adaptations are usually inherited from parents or they come from random mutations. There are three types of adaptations. Behavioural adaptations, physiological adaptations and structural adaptations. Behavioural adaptations. Behavioural adaptations are actions that helps an organism to survive and to reproduce. For example, wolves that work together in packs when they're hunting prey. Bears hibernating in winter to conserve energy and survive the cold climate without food. Male penguins huddling together during winter to help them avoid heat loss and to survive until spring. Physiological adaptations. Physiological adaptations are body processes that helps an organism to survive and to reproduce. For example, snakes that produce venom to defend themselves and to kill their prey. Skunks release an awfully smelling spray to defend themselves from predators. Structural adaptations. Structural adaptations are features of an organism's body that helps it to survive and to reproduce. For example, some animals have sharp claws that help them to catch prey. Fish have gills that help them to breathe in water. Leaves are usually large to maximise photosynthesis. And plants have colourful flowers to attract pollinators. Now let's look at two examples. Camel. They have thick fur on the top of their body for shade. And they have thin fur everywhere else to allow easy heat loss. They are well camouflaged. They have humps to store fat. They also have a large surface area to volume ratio to maximise heat loss. Their large flat feet help them to walk on hot sand. This helps to spread their weight on the sand so that they don't sink into the sand. Their long thick eyelashes protect their eyes from the sand. Camels have slit-like nostrils to also keep out sand. They are able to tolerate high body temperatures. Camels can drink gallons of water in one go and they can also go a long time without water. Lastly, camels lose very little water through urination and perspiration. Cacti. These are also adapted for survival in the desert. They have long roots that spread over a wide area to find water. Their large stems help to store water. Cacti have thick, waxy skin that helps them reduce water loss and to reflect heat. Their needle-like spines help to reduce water loss. This is because the spines minimise surface area, therefore reducing water loss by transpiration. Spines also protect the cacti from animals that might eat them. Cacti can also lie dormant for many years until rain falls.